Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and I am back with another deck review. So, this time we are doing the Shadowscapes Tarot by Stephanie Pui Moon Law and it says text by Stephanie and Barbara Moore. So, this is actually one of my first I'm now a collector um, purchases when I realized I started having more Oracle than Tarot and I was like, oh my God, I need to balance it out. So let me start getting some more Tarot. And this was one of my, ooh, it's pretty purchases. However, um, this deck ain't going anywhere <laughs> because this deck is very much a soft touch um when it comes to connecting to spirit this deck is very much a deck that will still give me the message but it's like wrapped in a hug this is a mom deck right it's it's very safe it's very soft um and i feel like it's a really good deck for your love readings it's a good deck for um, well, I mean, it's tarot, so you can do it for any reading, but I really feel like the energy of love, self-love, um, the energy of just relationship building, um, and different things like that. Um, taking a look at how to move forward from healing. I feel like this is a good healing tarot. Um, but let's actually get into how it looks. So we're looking at a hinge box here. And while I open this, I'm just going to let you guys know I did get this from Amazon. I'm not sure what the price is today. I think when I got it, it was like 20, between 20 and 25 bucks. Um, I love the book. The book is thick, right? Now, the book is in black and white, but I still love it. Um, nice paper to it. It's not super thin. Um, it's a more durable book. Um, you're going to get your introduction. The contents for this one is a little basic, right? So it just goes major, minor, and then it breaks it down into, uh, each suit. And then the spreads are at the end, which works for me because you're not getting a whole bunch of fluff in the beginning of the book. And I feel like having the spreads at the end, it's kind of like, hey, learn the cards, then learn the spreads, which I feel like is smart. Um, you should absolutely learn the cards before really focusing on too many spreads. So, and, and then they still give you a couple right here. Uh, let's see here. It's at 17. So, you get the full picture of the card and then it breaks down the meaning. So with the Major Arcana, we have the story of the Fool, the Fool's journey, and then it goes into what the meaning of the card is here. There is no um, real standout for reversals. Um, I really feel like this particular deck, you don't really have to use reversals. Um, I, I honestly don't use reversals that much anymore anyway, but I feel like for this particular deck, it's best to use them all upright. You're still going to get the message you need, but like I said, it's it comes with that warmth to it, right? So we have the meaning here, and then you get that full page spread for each major arcana, and then it goes into the meaning. Again, we're keeping track of the fool's journey on this page and then the actual meaning of the card on this page, which, and then I love the, the, the high priestess. I actually like this particular high priestess. Um, she just feels very empowering to me. And then we go here. So same thing across the board with the major arcana. And then we go into the minor and I want to say these are swords we start with. Wands, excuse me. So we have the four of wands here. And you're going to see the full page of the picture, which I think is awesome, especially for people who are blind like me. I can plainly see this card lines up to the four of wands. And the font is not too small either. This is a big book, so you can plainly see the font there. Um, and then here we go into kind of like a story meaning of the four of wands um but that last paragraph is always going to be the the 
hardcore meaning of the card based on this book's interpretation. So I like the guidebook as it's more of a story um, to it. And again, it's that softness. It's pretty. Um, it's warm. So I definitely like the guidebook because of the size, because of how the font is clear to read. The picture is there. Um, and then again, in the back, we have some spreads. But I do like the book. Now let's actually get into the cards. Now this deck is not diverse. It's not. You're going to see a whole lot of, of pale white um, humanoids um, because I'm not, some of them look like fairies, some of them look like elves, but the skin color is not very diverse, which I don't really mind because I like the energy of these cards and they are still pretty to me. Um, so let's just go through the major arcana. I like how empowering the High Priestess feels in this particular deck. Lots of things to see, to feel. When we look at the colors, when we look at the small nuances of the, Im of the imagery, when it comes to the chariot. This is one of the um, decks that it does not have the black and white chariot. Um, that I'm used to seeing. Uh, so I like that you can go further than just the duality of the horses when it comes to this chariot. Very pretty. I love that wheel. It is glossy. So if you're going to use it for film or video, keep that in mind. They are like standard playing card size. Like... I have medium sized hands, so standard size, right? The death card. Now, again, I like the imagery because there's no skulls on this death card. There's no, you know, no super signature of death, but you have the phoenix because after death comes rebirth, right? And I just, I absolutely love that for this deck. I like the duality in that temperance card too. Now that's a tower. Look at that. I love how in tarot you can look at different cards that have the same, like you can look at eight different death cards and get completely different messages from each one. Sorry guys, that is my daughter's iPad in the background, so. Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of mood music for the second. Oh, there's the moon. The sun. Judgment. I like that world card. That's heavy heart chakra energy, right? Oh. And now we get into our pinnacles. that for the nine of pentacles that's dope and now our wands cups and the swords sorry guys I'm going to have to silence that after this. <laughs> but all in all, this is a very, very good deck. Um, definitely all skill levels, um, just because you have the basics and you have the clear cut, um, like what the card is right here at the bottom. Uh, again, soft energy to introduce you to tarot. I think this is a great beginner's deck shuffles like a dream um i've used these cards quite a bit and they don't really have a bend to them however with the card stock 
if you fold this, it's a wrap. Like you'll never get it straight again because it's thin, but the way that it's like laminated, I guess, it doesn't hold the bin when you shuffle them, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna shuffle a couple of times and see what cards come out. one more so we got the page of swords and the ten of pentacles so this page of sword just telling me that it's time for you guys to um start understanding your next plan of action it's time to move forward because the bag is waiting for you like there's a lot of you guys who are sitting on ideas sitting on things you want to do whether it's going to school whether it's m switching jobs switching careers there's all of these things that you want to do and we're coming out of this 2020 energy where it's like okay okay, I got put on my ass. Cool. 2021 W-O-N is telling you, yeah, you got put on your ass. Now it's time to get up and make moves. So let's get up and make moves because it's time to collect this bag. It's time to go ahead and start getting this money because as you guys know, every single time I pull cards, the 10 of Pentacles or like the seven of pentacles, the six of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, all of this money keeps coming out literally every time I pull cards. 2021 is trying to tell y'all to get ready for this money. Here it is. It's time to be of action and it's time to get the bag. Like, it's time to do it. It's time to start getting these ideas off the ground. It's, it's, it's time that's all i got for y'all if you want a personal reading be sure to hit me up um you can hit my dms across all social media at coco kitten bruja if you like um this good old video drag that i do you can go to coco kitten .com. if you like any of the resin items here you can go to prism by ckb.com lots of cool stuff coming on the way um i just dropped my uh tarot tutorial on doing a money ritual if you guys want to check that out I have more tutorials on the way. Guys, I love doing these and I love to hear your comments. So please drop them down below. And uh, until next time, I'm sending you guys tons of love and light. Peace.